In this episode of What's Good, we check out the 2024 public statement. It excels at high speeds, boosts and offside hits. I'm Cam, I'm the Terrain Park Supervisor at Whistler Black Home, and I've been boarding for 28 years. I like to ride mainly park and just rip around the mountain. My first impressions of the board was the classic snub nose of the public shape, uh, the simplicity, and that goes along with the graphic too, like they keep the graphics fairly simple, but definitely draws your eye. The other thing I noticed when I first picked it up was the width of the board, it's a mid-wide, so it really helps with toe drag and getting through all the slush. My first impression riding it, uh, I was kind of thinking about the general public that I was riding last year, uh, thinking that it was going to be very similar. It's definitely a little stiffer, um, a lot more stable, doesn't spring out on you, and uh, has a lot of snap with the stringers in the tip and tail. It excels at high speeds, boosts and offside hits, uh, the stability in the park, and again, the mid-wide helps for anybody that has like a larger boot, anywhere from like a 10 to a 12. Definitely more of an advanced feeling board because you do have to kind of ride it at a higher speed to get that response from it. But all in all, it's super fun and playful. For jumping, it's very predictable. Since it is that mid-wide and you really feel that stability underfoot, it has, still has that snap, but like landing, riding through the chunder, like everything just feels like it should underneath you. A lot of the publics I find have that really abrupt, quick nose and tail. So like if you're doing switch ups and stuff, less likely to like hang your nose or tail on the side of the rail. Big help. This board would definitely excel for someone that's looking to hit the streets and hit big rails, or someone that's looking to just rip the mountain and hit big jumps. The public statement is Cass Lemons Pro Model. It's a mid-wide, positive camber board that flattens out at the contact points, allowing the board to get from edge to edge quickly despite its slightly wider waist width. This shape gives the board a perfect balance of playfulness and stability while hitting jumps or rails. The mid-wide shape alleviates toe and heel drag and offers more stability for high-impact riders looking for bigger terrain. It has a softer torsional flex and slightly longer blend zone at the contact points, making the board quicker and easier to get on edge. It also features a poplar wood core for smooth, consistent flex, a centered base to make getting speed in the park or streets no problem, urethane sidewalls for superior durability and damping, and four 20 millimeter wide quad carbon strips in the tip and tail for incredible pop. Have you ridden this board already or hyped to check it out this winter? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and watch more What's Good product reviews in our playlist.